Okay, welcome back, you guys. Um, we are out here with the Parrot and Affy, getting ready to execute our flight plan. I did make a minor adjustment. Um, I basically changed the launch point um, because I have a, a bench here to sit down on. So, <laughs> thought I'd do that. But uh, everything else is pretty much the same. So, we've got 76% on the battery, which should be plenty for a 7 minute flight. 98% on the controller. We have GPS. Uh, we actually have 23 satellites. I did a camera calibration and a drone calibration. So, we should be all set to go. So, I'm going to go ahead and push the play button. Let's get it on. Get right to it. <laughs> cool. Okay, now, so we can get a live view. So we can toggle between a live view and the map view to see the progress of the drone. So as you can see, where the drone is, at about 100 feet, and now it's going to climb up to 150 feet. Okay. And right now it should be focusing on our first point of interest, which it is, as you can see there. Very, very nice. Nice and smooth. <laughs> this is so much fun, man. It's so cool to set up a plan, push play, and then watch it do its thing. And you're going to be able to get shots doing this that. You know, unless you've been flying a while and you're, you know, you've gotten good with uh, maneuvering, you're going to be able to get shots that you may not normally be able to get manually. So it's really cool that way. Just toggling between the map view and the live video view. Progressing nicely here. Along the flight plan, there is the canopy. Now, our next point of interest is this uh, flower patch here. So, the anaphy is focusing on that makes its way through its waypoint progressions. And my placement may not have been the best, but you get the idea here. There's the anaphy turning, heading to its next waypoint based on all the parameters that I've already set up. And we can see that we are three minutes in, so we have about four more minutes for this flight plan. Headed to the next point of interest, which is the bridge there. And as you can see, the anaphy is making its way through its progressions focusing on the point of interest nice and smooth here and we are going to come upon the next point of interest here in just a moment so the drone will begin to turn here in just a moment Nice shots here. And there's the other point of interest. Not quite sure what it what it is, but it was something that was showing up on the map. <laughs> uh, let's 
So there it is. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. And the Anaphy is making its way to its next waypoint. And we'll be able to see the variation in speed that I have programmed into the flight plan. And you can adjust the camera tilt manually until we get to the next point of interest, which I think is where we're coming upon now. We are at the five minute mark, so should be close to completing the flight plan here. That looks like a really nice shot there. Really nice shot. Nice and smooth. and smooth huh okay we are on our last leg of the flight plan there is the anaphy in my line of sight right there although it's a small drone it's a dark drone so it does stand out against that blue and white sky Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Can't wait to see how this came out. Okay, our last leg. The Anaphy is making its way back to the launch point. It's going to come back here, and depending on where I <laughs> place the waypoint is where it's going to go ahead and land. over there maybe oh yes the, I actually left the land no it's coming back okay can't remember where I had it land but it remembers here's the canopy I'm going to go ahead and guide it if necessary, but no, I think it's pretty darn spot on. That was a fully automated flight of the Parrot Anafi using the flight plan feature. Uh, we started with about 70 something odd percent battery down to 45 percent. I'm going to stop that video because I want to make sure we capture, make sure we get that screen capture screen recording but that was a highly successful flight very very enjoyable it's very relaxing you know to be able to uh, create a flight plan plan it out you're really into that you can really do some cool stuff get some really cool shots come have a seat push a button and watch the drone do its thing all right I thought I'd jump on here to give you my impressions this was my first flight plan with the Anafi and it's missing one thing that makes it not as good as the previous generation. I'm gonna put a link to the flight plan video I did with the Bebop 2, and I want you to see the difference in how smoothly it moves from waypoint to waypoint. The automatic progressive course option is supposed to eliminate pausing at each waypoint, but it's simply not working in Free Flight 6 for the Anafi. I really hope Parrot fixes this in a firmware update. Well, don't want to harp on it, but let's just say I was really surprised when I watched the footage while editing. You can still get some cool shots and do some creative stuff with flight planning, but 
it simply isn't as good as it used to be. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for episode five as we continue to dig into the details of the parrot Anafi. Until then, be good to somebody and be good to yourself. Later. Thank you.